Hello. One of the viewers wanted to know a little bit more about this uh, Tiger Moth trailer, so made by uh, Taxa Outdoors out of the uh, States. We'll start off with the uh, exterior. So we've got some uh, good sized tires here to follow you on the trail, so 235-75R15s. If you open up the side door, it gives you plenty of access. There is a screen available here, so to keep the critters out. Creates a nice awning, lots of connection points here if you want to hang uh, lanterns or if you want to dry some clothes. We've also got a smaller rear access door here. Good steps, pull out kitchen. Closer view of the pull out kitchen, you've got 12 volt power right here. This pulls out. Storage cabinet in there. This you can install right here so that you have a working platform. You can put your stove here and still access your storage. You can fill with your uh, onboard jerry can here. Awning right here. Two poles come out. Got uh, LED amber light. Inside, it's set up right now as a uh, couch. Uh, if you want to get in bed, this will fill out like this, giving you a good size, uh, double sized bed. Some good padding here, very comfortable. At the front end, you've got a two inch hitch, uh, jack, storage space, toolbox. Wheel chocks are in here, some wooden blocks, a small solar uh, charger, the actual wheel that goes on the uh, stand. Onboard diesel fuel tank, lots of storage here if you want to put a small fridge or a generator or an inverter. Onboard shower, this is pretty cool. You pressurize it, it gets warmed up by the sun. wash the rig down or wash yourself down. On the driver's side you've got a spare tire, solar charger input, 120 shore power so you can uh, charge the battery or you can plug yourself in if you're uh, roof racks. There is a rooftop tent that goes with this, it's just not mounted right now. We've got good solid running boards and uh, wheel wells. You can hop on this stuff and unload your gear if you need to, reach anything up here. So inside we've got our light switches. This is the amber light outside. This is a large white strip of LEDs. We've got a little reading light up at the front. And then you've got your white, uh, your red light, so it doesn't affect your night vision. Little fire extinguisher, leveling bubble right there. Good little step. There's one on each side. This is a fan. Actually pulls the air into the trailer through the windows. Get rid of some of the moisture. Lots of attachment points. Good storage. Here's your two USB ports. 12 volt. We just came off the highway, so we're at 12.9 volts. Fuse panel. Your four plug-ins and your master switch. <laughs> Really like how the windows are set up so you can uh, prop them open like that. If you want some privacy, this can come down, goes back up. And if you want the screen up, clips in the place, keeps all the mosquitoes out. Some key specs about the trailer. It's 12 feet, 10 inches in length. It's got a dry weight of uh, 1,300 pounds. Sleeps two adults. 
Some features of the Tiger Moth. It's got a powder coated steel chassis, 15 inch steel wheels with all terrain tires, dual stabilizer jacks. It's got a 200 pound weight capacity for cargo deck, LED lighting, 12 volt accessory outlet uh, outside, birch plywood cabinets, uh, 12 volt accessory inside. Uh, it does have the uh, uh, roof racks. It's got a tongue toolbox, deep cycle battery, uh, full size bed and couch, three quarter inch plywood deck, pre wired solar input, front cargo step, 12 volt full exhaust fan, laser cut powder coated aluminum skeleton. One of these subscribers wanted to know if uh, this thing can actually go where you want to take it. Will it follow the uh, Jeep Gladiator to the uh, places where you actually want to go camping? So uh, let's find out.